The preparation and properties of a colloidal solution of vanadium pentoxide. Attention! Ammonium metavanadate and vanadium pentoxide can cause genetic defects, are toxic if swallowed and can cause irritation of the skin and eyes. Inhalation can be life-threatening. Hydrochloric acid can cause chemical burns on the skin and eyes and irritation of the respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For the experiment, 1 gram of ammonium metavanadate are added to a mortar and crushed to a fine powder. Then a small amount of water is added and it is crushed again. Next, 10 ml of 2 molar hydrochloric acid are added while stirring and the following reaction takes place. The ammonium metavanadate reacts with the hydrochloric acid to form vanadium pentoxide and ammonium chloride, where the pentoxide in reality is a hydrated form. The precipitate is filtered off and washed out of the mortar with distilled water. Now it is washed with distilled water until the filtrate which comes out of the funnel becomes red and cloudy. Washing it is important because the ammonium chloride would disturb the further experiment. After that the precipitate is washed out of the filter and into a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask. On the flask a new mark was added for 100 ml because usually the original markings are very inaccurate. A 100 ml volumetric flask could also be used instead. Then the flask was filled up with distilled water and closed. Within half an hour the solution became clear. The rest of the solid dissolves within several hours. This is called peptization which describes a dissolving coagulated colloid. The solution is left to sit for several days and looked like this after two weeks. It seems as if nothing has happened. Nevertheless, in the time the particles did grow which cannot be seen under an ordinary microscope. The particles have a size of nanometers to micrometers. But when the solution is watched from the right angle, a silk-like effect can be seen when shaking it. The particles are rod-shaped which causes them to align to the direction of the current. This causes so-called streaming by refringence, which can be seen as the showed effect. To show how sensitive the colloidal solution is to the presence of ions, a small amount was added to a beaker and a solution of ammonium chloride was prepared. When adding it to the colloidal solution, a precipitate of vanadium pentoxide is formed immediately. Out of curiosity, the mixture was left to sit overnight so the precipitate could settle completely. Then the solid was carefully removed from the beaker with a spatula. The mass of vanadium pentoxide can be easily cut and could be used to make ammonium metavanadate again. The whole process is also called sol gel process. In it, the colloidal solution is called a sol, the growth of the particles is called aggregation and the precipitate is called gel. This were the preparation and properties of a colloidal solution of vanadium pentoxide. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you're interested in making ammonium metavanadate, you can watch my video about it here. Otherwise, you can watch my last video here.